So, let us look into the six video that we took. The first video is about the pupillary reflex. Please have a look. Once again. I think the iPhone image is clear enough to show the reaction of the pupil. So let's move on uh, to the blood pressure measurement videos. Please have a look. One more time. So uh, the third video is about the ECG to put 12 leads in that place. Please have a look. One more time. So, uh, in these three videos, uh, pupillary reflex, blood pressure measurement, and ECG, you can clearly check whether the student's motions and gestures are okay or not. So, uh, let's move on to the heart sound, lung sound, and vowel sound auscultation. First, please have a look at the heart sound auscultation. Uh, in this video, uh, we are using the external speaker. One more time. The hard sound here is mitral regurgitation. The sound is just like a clock tickling. So uh, I need to tell that it is difficult to differentiate various hard sound. So let's move on to the lung sound auscultation.
One more time. The case here is called crackle. Uh, compared with the hard sound, the lung sound seems better compared with hard sound. I, I suppose uh, you could hear the bubbling sound uh, that comes from the coarse crackle sound. So uh, let us move on to the bow sound next. One more time. So uh, this, these are all the six videos that we took uh, in order to verify whether physical works for the distance learning. Uh, what we can see from this video that that iPhone seems to provide good solutions uh, to make learning materials for gestures and motions. On the other hand, I iPhone seems to work to some extent to hear the lung sound and bowel sounds. But uh, it has some limitation uh, in differentiating high pitch sound and low pitch sound. So uh, it may be difficult for the training uh, for uh, such as the hard sound auscultation. The video I showed you today are already uploaded to our YouTube channels. Now, we are uploading more and more to share the latest info to our customers. For customers who are not so interested in medical simulators, uh, we are filming uh, some videos uh, that everybody can have fun so that many people are more interested in our simulators. Please have a look at the video which introduced our cafeteria, for example. I am hoping uh, this presentation gives you some tips about how to continue uh, hands-on training under this COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you for listening.